And then Lloyd Macedo is speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com, who's Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding. All right, I just wanted to share this breaking news with you. Uh, this has been, this was sent to me by a businessman um, based in the Middle East. He shared with me this video. I'll put the link down below. It has been uploaded by a gentleman, uh, someone with the name Manoj Vishwa Karma. Okay. And uh, the video uploaded here, which I'll be playing, it's the title is Al Turki Enterprise Oman Ka Bura Hal. Ka Bura Hal means uh, it's, it's a bad condition or something like that. Okay. So in this video, uh, if you actually look, there is a gentleman with a white shirt. He takes this lapel microphone and he's speaking about the injustice that is being caused uh, to uh, the people. And you'll see lots of people there wearing masks. And, uh, uh, you know, then there's another worker that comes with a pink shirt and he has covered his mouth. I do not know whether he's covered his mouth because of the COVID or uh, virus or because he doesn't want to be the forefront because what you need to understand is um, uh, dissension in the ranks or putting a strike or protest is not allowed in the Middle East. So this guy speaks about it and then there are people who are talking and stating their views uh, as to the ill treatment of workers. They are not being given medicines and if they are sick, they are asked to go outside. Some of them are even stating that, uh, look at the condition. It's, it's a massive, it's a huge, you will see a sea of people um, roughly, uh, some people are saying it's 3,500 people. Some are saying it's 6,000 people. And all the workers are complaining about bad conditions, living conditions in uh, Oman. And they're requesting for the Indian government to do something. And there is this one video uh, which they're talking about. And people are screaming and shouting. And so I need you to watch this video. Okay. The other video is... Um, uh, this one is kind of disturbing in the sense that um, this says, "Al, uh, let me let me see what is it, Al Tasneem Group, Al Tasneem Group 2020." Okay, I do not know whether it's the same or whether it's different. So it says Juram Al Turkey Enterprise. It has the same name, but here it says Al Tasneem Group 2020. And when you play the video. Uh, it shows workers. Right now, I'm looking at all. Okay, all the workers are there. Now people are running, and um, you know, it, it doesn't make sense. There is nobody talking in this. And so people are running, and um, uh, you know, they seem to be unhappy. If I listen to the music, it's it's there is some music at the background, you know. So, and then there is a big fire that they are showing here. I do not know whether they have. Uh, uh, you know, made the fire out of a protest or whether it is, uh, you know, uh, there was a particular incident. But things don't look very good. Uh, the problem with such videos is these people do not know what, you know, how to raise awareness. So this is what is happening now. Then uh, the next part of the video is where uh, there is the fire brigade that is coming and putting out the fire. So what I'll do is I'll share these links with you. You'll see a lot of these video clips. In fact, it even shows breaking into an office, breaking window panes, and things don't seem very good. Uh, so it's pretty disturbing. I, you know, I, I absolutely abhor violence. I say people should not be violent. They should not take law into their hands. But throughout this video, you'll see scenes like this: breaking property, uh, you know, setting a place on fire, breaking the offices. And as you go through the video, you will see lots of these images. So. If anyone in Oman is aware of what is happening here, please send me a message. Uh, let me know what is going on. Uh, I will send it across to the people, the contacts I know online. And uh, uh, if I'm wrong, if in case you feel that I'm wrong and uh, you know it's the wrong information, please make me aware of it also. Put down in the comment section below. Like I said, 6,000 people, uh, Indians in Oman, they seem to be treated badly and... Uh, uh, they want to get out of Oman. They are stuck. So this is what has been told. Oh, my goodness. There are some really bad scenes in this. Uh, please be warned that it is a graphic video. Uh, there's some really dirty, uh, ugly scenes in this of defecation and all that. So I'm just warning you with regards to what the video is about. So I'll play the video now after this. Have a look at it. Uh, give me your thoughts. And this is me signing off for now.
ठीक है इधर ये दो महीने से टर्मिनेट करके बिठा के रखा है दो महीना दस दिन हो गया है अभी तक कुछ रेस्पॉन्स नहीं है कुछ नहीं है भेजने के लिए थोड़ा हम लोग को इधर से कैसे भी करके इधर से हमको निकालो ये कंपनी बहुत मैनेजमेंट इसका बहुत चोर है चोर चोर हाँ मैं यूपी से हूँ और यहाँ का आज का स्ट्राइक ये नहीं है इसके पहले से स्ट्राइक चालू है इसका ये छठवा स्ट्राइक है ये तुर्की में और तुर्की का बीजा अप्लाई करता है वहाँ से यहाँ के लाके अल तस्वीर में भेजता है और इसका जो है आज स्ट्राइक के दो दिन पहले इसने खाना सही किया नहीं तो ये मशीन का आटा खिला खिला के हम लोग का पेट में दर्द हुआ और डॉक्टर भी यहाँ पे जो भी है वो भी खाली एक ही टेबलेट देता है मैनेजमेंट बोलता है बाहर से इलाज कराने के लिए एक ही टेबलेट देता है बस बोले जाओ और उसके बाद कुछ नहीं इलाज करता है इसके आगे हम लोग अब क्या कर हम लोग तो फंसे हुए हैं अब हमको अपने इंडिया सरकार से मोदी से कहते कहते हैं ये बात की हमें जल्द से जल्द यहाँ से बुला लिया जाए इंडिया में छह हजार आदमी का फ्लाइट करने का हाँ यहाँ पे जितने आदमी भाई लोग हैं सब छह हजार आदमी हैं और उसके बाद सभी लोग को इंडिया सही सलामत यहाँ से बुला लिया जाए